All right, thanks for watching, and let's calculate an integral Ramanujan style. So today we'll evaluate the integral from zero to infinity of one over x to the n plus one dx, where at least n is strictly greater than one. And in order to do this, let's use a little u sub. So in this case, let u be x to the n. Then u of zero is zero, and u of infinity is infinity, because again, n is greater than one. And more importantly, du becomes n x to the n minus one dx. And so in particular, dx becomes one over n x to the one minus n du. However, we want to write everything in terms of u, and so dx becomes 1 over n. u is x to the n, so x is u to the 1 over n, because things are positive here. So u to the 1 over n, and then 1 minus n du. And so in the end, we get 1 over n, and then u to the 1 over n minus 1 d. And therefore, after this u sub, our integral just becomes the integral from 0 to infinity of, so 1 over u plus 1, and then all this du business. So 1 over n u to the 1 over n minus 1 d. And so just by cleaning this up, what we end up getting is 1 over n integral from 0 to infinity and then u to the 1 over n minus 1 and then 1 over 1 plus plus. And now you're like, Payam, why do we start with such an easy integral and suddenly get this mess? Well, in French we say, pourquoi faire simple si on peut faire compliqué? Why do simple if we can make it more complicated? But really the real reason is that now we can put it in the form to use what's called Ramanujan's master theorem. All right, so let me remind you what our integral was. It was one over n integral from zero to infinity. And I wrote everything in terms of x here, just for simplicity. But if you want, you can just use a u sub x equals u to convince yourself of that. And now, as I said, this is the perfect time to use Ramanujan's master theorem, which just says the following. Namely, if you can somewhat expand f as a power series. So if f of x is the sum from m from zero to infinity of phi of m and then minus x to the m over m factorial. So think of power series, but instead of x, we have minus x, then you can evaluate the integral from zero to infinity of x, some power of x, so s minus one and f of x as phi of minus s and the gamma function, gamma of s. So once again, the essence, essence, is that if f is a power series, sort of like that, then you can evaluate the integral of some power of x times f dx. And now, once again, this is perfect here because it does have this form. If you compare this, you see that s is one minus one over n, and f is 1 over 1 plus x. 
So really, all that's left is to expand out 1 over 1 plus x as this sort of power series. So once again, as I said, f of x is 1 over 1 plus x. And remember that is 1 over 1 minus minus x. And that you can now expand out. So sum from m from 0 to infinity of, in this case, minus x to the m. And this is almost of the power series form, but we need this n factorial. And in order to do that, we just multiply top and bottom by n factorial. n factorial times minus x to the m over n factorial. And so if you compare this with the form of the power series, then you get phi of m is m factorial. Except the only problem is factorials, they're just defined for positive integers. And in order to extend this to the real numbers, we need to use a gamma function. So that's the same thing as gamma to the m plus one. Great, because we found our s, we found our f, and now we found our phi. So now we are just ready to conclude. So step three, what was our integral? Remember, it was one over n times the integral from zero to infinity of x to the one over n minus one times one over one plus x dx. But again, we can put this in the form of Ramanujan's master theorem. So in the end, what this becomes, if we still have this one over n, and then we have phi of minus s, so in this case, minus 1 over n, and then gamma of s, so gamma of 1 over n, so that is by Ramanujan's master theorem, and then remember phi was gamma of m plus 1, so in this case, we have gamma of 1 minus 1 over n times gamma of 1 over n. But last but not least, to simplify this a little bit, we can use what's called Euler's gamma formula, which just says that gamma of 1 minus z times gamma of z is pi over sine of pi z. And so... In the end, this simplifies to 1 over n and then pi over sine of pi times 1 over n. And, well, after cleaning this up a little bit, what you get is, in the end, the answer is pi over n over sine of pi over n. And there it goes, whoosh. I mean, it's not really elegant. That's really one of the beautiful things about Ramanujan's master theorem. Truly a genius. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.